It's told you that, right? No, but also my grandparents. Yeah, and your grandparents. So really, you're just believing what they told you. You never look. You never read the Quran. You know that the Quran says, um, trust in the Bible. If in, if there's any confusion in the Quran, go to the Bible as the Word of God. Did you know that? Well, I don't know. Yeah. Well, anyway, God bless you. Yeah. Jesus died for you. Repent of your sins and trust in Christ, and you shall be saved. All right. Uh. Jesus died for you, brother. God bless you. Yo, guys, are you ready to talk to this uh, Mormon? Oh um, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll add They're you guys to the call. To I'll you, add man. you. I'm yours. I'll add. Actually, no, I'm yours. You're, you're not gonna say nothing, right? Who we're talking to on right now? The book of Lit. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing. Good how, how are you? We're good. Thank you. You're good. Having a blessed day. Yeah. I have a question. This is like what nice. shall I do to be saved? Following the like, ex example like of Jesus Christ? Like that. Yeah. Uh, I have a question for you. Okay. Um, if you died right now, where do you, where would you go? Um, we would go somewhere called the spirit world. The oh, spirit no. world? Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell me about that. So when Jesus Christ comes back, uh, you would you go to like heaven or hell? So we have an interesting view on heaven and hell, where we believe in a very merciful God, mm -hmm. and we believe in pull out scripture right now. I needed the mic. Pull out scripture. That God places right, according to the desires of our heart. Uh huh. So if I died right now. Where would I go? You would go to the spirit world where you would learn about Jesus Christ. Uh, do you, um, so you guys have the Book of Mormon. Do you guys also read the Bible as well? We do. Okay. So what about, so like God is really merciful. So like a lot of people go to heaven, like even, you know, let's say, what about unbelievers? I just like never really believed. Yeah, so... Um, at this point <laughs> um, in their lives, well, after they die, they'll go and they'll be able to learn. If they still choose not to accept Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but they've lived good and honorable lives, yeah. they will inherit the kingdom though. of glory. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, did Jesus talk about that? Um, but yeah. <laughs> Um, have you ever read the book of Have you ever read the book of Revelations? Mhm. Mm um, I was reading it, and um, this is uh, mm -hmm. this is what was said. But the cowardly, unbelieving, the abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire, which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Mm -hmm. And Jesus also said. That broad is the road that leads to destruction. And this is what I just said was Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. And mm -hmm. Jesus says that um, broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many people enter through it. But narrow is the way that leads to everlasting life. And uh, very few people find it. Yeah. Um, I'm a Christian. All right, and, you're, and you're a Mormon. And the difference between our belief is that you believe that, you know, everybody goes to heaven. So this is what I want I want to suppose to you, and I want you to think about. Let's just say, you're right, because I believe, when we look at the Book of Mormon, 
there's a lot of things that contradict the Bible. You know, for example, uh, we look at um, in we look at um, two Nephi. Is that how you say it? Chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-three. Um, mm -hmm. It says, for we know that it is by grace that we are saved after all we can do. Because if getting to heaven is by following Jesus Christ, you know, then none of us, uh, you know, doing the commands, you know, following the word, then all of us, you know, we, 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 let's be honest, you know, I've lied, I've stolen, I've used God's name in vain, I, I've, I, we've all sinned, right? So we, all of us, and Jesus says that there is none good, no, not one, that all have fallen short in the glory of God. So the, the Jesus described in the Mormon is a completely different Jesus than in the Bible. So this is what I want you to think about. The Mormons, you, you believe, let's just say you're right and I'm wrong, right? Then I, I go to the lowest degree of heaven, right? But if I'm right and you're wrong, you're following a completely different Jesus, a completely different Jesus, and you're on your way to hell. But this is what the Bible says. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, that we are saved by grace through faith. Hear me, let me read it fully right now. But it goes that we are saved by grace through faith. It is not of yourselves, but it is a gift of God, a free gift of God, lest any man should boast. Because we've all sinned. Have, I'm ask you, have you ever lied? Yeah. Ever stolen? <laughs> Yeah. Use God's no. use God's name in vain. No. No, you never said OMG. No. <laughs> Are you lying to me? No. I'm not well, lying. well, Jesus said, if you look at anyone and lust after them, you've already committed adultery with them within your heart. You looked at lust. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, how about this? You, you know, you'd be saying, well, that's not that bad. Have you ever murdered anybody? No. Have you ever hated anybody? No. In your, in your entire life, ever got angry? I've gotten angry. All right. Not well, th this th this is what Jesus says. Jesus says, if you gotten angry with your brother, you've already committed murder within your heart. So this is the gospel. The gospel is that all have all of us have sinned against God, and we're all guilty. In in the Bible. You will find nowhere in the Bible that any of us deserve to go to heaven. And that all of us, all, all of humanity deserves to go to hell. But this is the good news. The good news is that God became a man, Jesus. Now the difference between the, the Jesus of the Bible and the Jesus of the Mormon is that the Mormons believe that Jesus became God. But the Bible says complete opposite. Jesus says, before Abraham was, I am, to everlasting, to everlasting. John 1, 1, Je Jesus is the, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus says that I and the Father are one. So, the Jesus, Jesus is God manifested in flesh form. So, this is how merciful God is, is that God became a man, Jesus Christ, and he died on the cross for our sins that all of us can be saved. And I want you to put it like this. If you guys are in the court of law, and you're standing before a judge, and you're guilty of crimes, the judge is going to say, you're going to jail, you committed this crime, this crime, that crime, this crime, and then you tell the judge, but judge, I'm a good person, I've done a lot of good deeds, the judge is going to say, so what? You're going to jail. And if the judge said, you know what, you're right, you've done a couple, couple good deeds, I'm going to let you out. That, that judge would not be a good judge. But then you tell the judge, but judge, I'm sorry, you can forgive me, right? The judge is going to say, so what, you should be sorry, you're going to jail. And then you're sitting there, you're crying, and you know, you know that you're about to get what you deserve. But the judge says to you, I have some good news for you. Somebody paid your fine. You're out of here. And he can do that which is legal, just, and right. And that's what Jesus did on that cross. That's why right before he died, he cried out, it is finished. In other words, the fine had been paid on our behalf. So God can let you free out of the quorum, out of judgment day, a free person, forgiven of your sins. Right, completely David. free. Yeah. You and, tell me that Jesus Christ is an amazing thing. Yeah, and all you have to do is you got to repent of your sins and trust in Jesus and the true Jesus, the true Jesus that is God, that says that brought his release um, destruction, but narrows the road. All you have to do is repent of your sins and trust in Jesus fully. Don't trust in yourself because none of us are good. You have to trust in what Jesus did on the cross. And, I agree, Ian. And this is all. This is what I want to say. 
this, this, this one, one, one more thing I say before I let you guys go. Okay. And, and I appreciate you guys for listening to me. You know, I, re I really do. I appreciate that you guys are sitting here listening to me because I say this out of love, right? If I didn't, if I didn't love you guys, I would have just kept quiet and didn't say anything. But the truth is, is that a lot of people go to hell, and they go to hell because you know God says that oh, my people perish for lack of knowledge, you know. And and I've been reading, I've been, I've been reading um, some things in the Book of Mormon. This is what it says. If you go, if, if you go to Galatians chapter one verse six. Um, this is what it said. I I marvel that you are because remember when Joseph Smith. This is you know this is what it's called. You know the um, another testament of Jesus Christ, right? Written in, and this was found in 1800s. And you know an angel three years later after after Joseph Smith got the vision, um, he thought he saw God and um, the Father and the Son. And three years later, an angel came to him and said. Um, I, all your, all the Christianity is corrupt. All the religions are corrupt. I'm gonna give you the real truth, right? And then he showed them the, the tablets, and then that's where the Book of Mormon came from. But this is what the Bible says. I marvel that you are turning. Um, I, I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you into grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another, but there are some who will trouble you and will want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel than that what you have that than that we have preached to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. Right. So the Bible the Bible the Bible God warns you know us Christians to be very wary for other people who will give another gospel and say, No, this is the true gospel. This is the truth. Listen to this. But the Bible says even if an angel you know, the only reason why Joseph Smith found those tablets was because an angel came to him. And it's the same thing for um, you know, Muhammad, you know, from Islam. And Muhammad was in a cave and an angel came down to him and said, This is the true this is the true gospel. This is the true word of God. Write this down. And Jesus has warned us since the beginning so, you know, th this is this is um. If you guys read your Bible and just compare it to the Book of Mormon, you realize that these there these are two different Jesuses. These are two different doctrines. These are not the same. This is the, the Book of Mormon is just not another testament of Jesus Christ. To be very honest with you, is it? It's really a testament from Satan. You know, just by looking, I'm going to be very on, and I'm being very honest with you girls, but. Uh, Jaden, I I really appreciate your time. We do have another question yeah. to get. Yeah. Okay. All right, I I appreciate I appreciate girls. All right, thank you. Please think about this. You know. Of course. All right, of course. thank you. I, all right, appreciate it. Goodbye. God bless you guys. We love Jesus Christ, and we know that you do as well. We hope you have a wonderful day. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Man, she got convicted. I felt I like you could hear in her voice. She felt convicted. <laughs> <laughs> she felt so convicted that. Her, her friend, I think her friends were there as well you know, and you know and you know, you can, you know um, a lot of a lot of Mormons I would say about 95 percent of Mormons they, they're just taught what the higher ups tell them and they don't really read yep. the, they don't really read the book. So that's why, you know, I was really talking to them like I was talking to a child. Because, you know, I'm not talking to some, like, you know, Pharisee, Mormon, whatever. You have to go give a scripture about it. <laughs> but, you know, just gave, just gave him the truth, you know. And one, one thing that, that one thing. Were you intense on her? Shit. No, I, I, I was perfect on her. You know, I was, I was very, I was gentle with her. Tell, just temp, simply just telling her the truth. And one thing that oh, I think really, really got her <laughs> was I said, if you're right and I'm wrong, then I go to I go to the, the lowest heaven. I go to heaven, right? But if I'm right, you're wrong. You're following you're following a a a uh, a of a false Jesus, and you're on your way to hell. Damn, boy. No. Damn, boy. He's thick. Kenzie is a goner. <clears throat> right, Mackenzie? Right.